Today we're going to install the undercover swing case on this 2017 and up Ford Super Duty. Now this is the same install as the 2015 and up body style Ford F-150. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, now the first thing we're gonna wanna do is remove this rear taillight uh, to gain access to the poles behind the tailgate pillar. The way we're gonna do that is remove these two bolts with an eight millimeter. All right, once those are out of the way, we can go ahead and pry this back. Now, I like to use a little pry tool and pry back uh, on this. Make sure you cover that up with a rag so you don't scratch your paint. Okay, so that you guys have a better visual on what's going on, I went ahead and removed the entire lamp and disconnected it and also moved the harness out of the way. Now, these are the three holes that we will be working with. Uh, because this truck has a bed rug, I'm going to take a pick tool and push a hole right through the center, in through the bed rug, through these holes. All right, now on the opposite side where we just made the holes, I'm going to take a razor knife and just make a little X mark. This way my hardware can go right through the hole easily. Next, I'm going to grab my bracket. Uh, the plastic ends need to be facing up. we got three bolts that are going to go through the bracket and then go through the holes that we just made. Now, obviously, if you do not have a bed rug, you're not going to have to worry about making the holes. Um, they're just already going to be there. All right, now on the bottom and top bolt locations, we're going to use one of these aluminum spacers. Go over top of that, followed by a lock washer and then a nut. We're going to tighten that finger tight for right now. Same with the top bolt. Now for the center bolt, uh, because we've got the bed rug, this isn't coming out quite far enough. Um, it, you can either find another bolt that's longer with the same thread pitch um, or just push in real hard and just put the nut on. All right, we're going to hold the nut still on one side with a half inch wrench or ratchet. And on the other side, we're going to tighten it down with a T40 Torx bit. All right, now for the center nut, we're gonna go ahead and first tighten this down with a T40. Once we get it nice and snug, we can back it off. This way we can get our lock washer in there and put the nut back on. All right, now you can go ahead and reinstall our light fixture same way it came off. Make sure we line up these tabs first and then attach the bolts in the back. I definitely recommend using hand tools to tighten these back down. It's a super easy to strip out. All right, now we have the box link system from Ford on this truck. If you did not have the box link system, you would just have four threaded holes. They provide you with four bolts to go into those threaded holes if you do not have the box link system. Since we have it, we're just going to reuse the factory bolts. Right now, we're going to go ahead and take those out using a T30.
Next, we're going to take our bracket, we're going to line it up to the holes on the box link, and then go ahead and put our bolts back through and first get them lined up before we tighten them down. Once we have all four bolts lined up, we can go ahead and tighten them down. All right, now because this truck has a bed rug, we do recommend to every once in a while go back and retorque your hardware. Bed rug can compress over time. Uh, so especially if you notice anything starting to get loose, torque everything back down. Now we're gonna line up the brackets on the swing case to our plastic guides, and now it's installed. Well, it's just that simple. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.